very berserk here. I'm standing in my natural habitat. My wife calls it my main domain. And I'm gonna show you the bare bones of my duck-banded jet car kind of looking ice racer before I cover it. Now you see the front wires, the bite string there, that's my antenna. Transmitter. Pilot. Maybe you can see some of the guts. Up top here is my duck fan. It's just kind of slapped together right now just for this demonstration here. You can see down here, that's my parachute. It does work. Back runners. This is uh, modified from the previous design. It was originally gas powered push prop. Stood a little bit higher at the pod where the engine's at. And it didn't quite go as well as planned. The engine didn't run with that great in cold weather. So we're trying with an electric powered ducted fan. Let's see. This isn't all glued in yet. This is my main hatch right here. It's made out of stiff cardboard and some foam cord poster board. There you can see the ducted fan. Right now everything is just kind of thrown in there as a conventional RC. It's not powered on its own battery yet. I don't, like I said, I don't have a zoom lens here, so I don't know what we're going to see. But, uh, that rear servo operates some brakes. Up here, we got the servo that controls the steering. And we're going to try and see, you can see that little servo right there with a string attached to it. That operates that white ramrod looking thing. That's what forces, it's connected to a rubber band, that's what forces my parachute out. And we'll power this thing up and I'll show you a little bit more. Turn the switch on. Turn the transmitter on. And I prop that up with a water bottle, you see how easy they turn. Alright, maybe you can see my brakes. They're like ice skate runners would sliced up and diced up so they look like saw blades. Working working my ailerons control here, that controls the steering. Working my elevator, it operates the brake. Alright, and if I work my rudder. That should work that uh, servo popping out my parachute. There it goes. And as you can see, this is kind of a heavy aircraft. Not aircraft. Mainly mostly out of hardwood, scrap pine that I sliced and diced. Um, it's weighing in a little over 3.8 pounds. 3 pounds 8 ounces with everything in it. And I think on the next one I build, I can make it at least 75% lighter using a lot more balsa wood and using foam core poster board for the formers. And most of the construction, this is pretty light right here, most of the construction in here is wooden dowels and foam core construct poster board and some cardboard, or not cardboard, but some hard paper poster board kind of stuff. So, next step now is now I know everything is working proper and we're going to go ahead and get this thing covered. I'm going to try, it won't be green like in, uh, the only photos I got are not that great. I do have some photo, uh, video on tape I'm going to convert over and we'll, you'll see it was kind of a failure but you'll get a better shot. Hopefully this thing will go according 
to the spec sheet. This uh, this uh, ducted fan motor is out of Park Zone's Habu Jet, and they claim with a 11 point volt battery, it'll do. It'll give uh, one point something or other pounds of thrust on a 14 volt battery. I'll get 2.8 pounds of thrust, and with that set up in the jet at a flat out level flight, full throttle, it can get up to 100 miles an hour. So hopefully this year we'll get some ice and plenty of ice and we'll be able to try this thing out. I'm going to attach some wheels on it and we'll give it some land test with it. The wheels will have ball bearings attached to them and we'll see how that goes. And I can also adapt skis to this, which I haven't tried yet at all in the past. But this is something I built some 20 odd years ago and it's just been sitting around duck fans back in the day were kind of pricey the gas powered and now they finally come out with the electric ones which are reasonable so there you have it this little monster here was the prototype of my much larger one it's single channel radio controlled originally we had a Cox TD motor on the back which meant I had to use a separate gas tank but just for demonstration purposes here I just mounted the baby B whatever they call it Cox 049 engine see here the front end turns if I can get it the hatch opens up yeah, up here for some reason Never build anything to make it easy. There we go. This is again all made out of scrap wood. You see the steering mechanism here. Which is kind of jamming up now, but servo sat there. And let me see. You can see it's made out of scrap wood and wooden dowels. Pretty light. I didn't weigh this one yet. And it is, the videos I have of it running, it's so light, it was a breezy day that day, and the wind had more control on it than what I did. And as you can see,